Welcome to Stuck, Time to Improv. I'm Mary Scott with Business Riff, and I want startups to be wildly successful. One kind of organization that's really good for startups is an accelerator. And today we have a special guest, Scott Morris from the University of Missouri in St. Louis. We fondly call it UMSL. And we're going to be talking about the Anchor Accelerator. Thanks so much for coming, Scott. My pleasure, Mary. Good to see you. Good to see you. So let's do, tell me about the Anchor Accelerator. How long has it been around and what do you guys do? This is our fourth uh, iteration. We just graduated our fourth cohort on Thursday of last week. So we've now uh, put 22 local companies through the accelerator and given away $1.1 million. So it's a it's a fairly lengthy process. We get about three or four hundred applicants a year. They go through multiple rounds of judging to select the final five, and those five get a fifty thousand dollar grant. They get an UMSL paid mentor, an UMSL paid intern, and we put them through an eight week curriculum. Wow, that is very cool. Are there particular kinds of companies you like? So there are no particular industries. We're industry agnostic, but all of our founders are from historically underrepresented groups. Okay. So if you're a black or brown person or someone who's Female, historically underrepresented, yeah. Yeah. F women, um, veterans. I mean, it's it's a it's a definition uh that's you know espoused by the the government the federal government so we just follow the federal guidelines for what meets the definition of historically underrepresented that's great so how many businesses are in a typical cohort five or six okay and each one gets a mentor and each one gets an intern and um they have meetings once a week or something to see where they are in their business yeah, we run a week. Uh, well, so during a given week, we we have a class that typically ranges anywhere from two to three and a half hours. And then they have mentor meetings in addition to the classwork that we do. And one thing, you know, you and I have talked about this very casually in group settings, but we're, we're now going to open up the program so that anybody in the community can take the courses. So we'll still only have the handful of winners just because we can't give grants to every company that comes through. But one of the things we've heard, so th this, this, our fourth year, like I say, we've have about three or 400 applicants a year. So we've had 1100 unique applicants. There's a total of 1500 in the system, but a, a number of those businesses have applied multiple years. So there's 1100 unique founders that have applied to be part of the program. And we asked them, you know, what can we do to help your business? Because I could argue that those businesses need the help more than the five winners. The five winners have kind of demonstrated some, you know, amount of success. Uh, and we want to be there for the whole community. So, uh, so we've decided that we can make those courses available to anybody that wants to take them. There's a nominal tuition involved that covers our costs. They get a textbook. They get access to some software. And then we'll walk them through five different modules. And if you complete all five modules, you can take one module, you can take all five, you can take anything in between. If you complete all five, you get an UMSL entrepreneurship certificate of completion, and you get put in the finals of the pitch competition to win the grant money. So the assumption is we can kind of coach you up and kind of get, get you to that investor pitch level um, you know, that that would warrant a spot in the finals. So as kind of an added added incentive, you you forego those first couple rounds of judging. That is so cool. And I would also highly recommend that anybody who thinks they're going to go end up in a pitch competition apply to present at one million cups and get some practice in, right? Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Great program. And that's a great point, Mary. You know, you and I, uh, we, we know each other through these meetings in the ecosystem. I am a firm believer, as is UMSL, that we need to work as a St. Louis ecosystem. And so our program is intended to be unique and fill a gap. So we're specifically looking for businesses that are facing scaling problems. So what that means is, um, you know, the founder has kind of found the end of themselves. They've right. said... 
you know, they may be in a position where it's like, okay, I've, I've handled sales to this point, but I am not a great head of sales. And so I need to fire myself and hire a real salesperson. It's real marketing that point, person. Yeah. It's that point where you have to decide whether you want to hire people and grow that company yourself, yeah. or if you're ready to sell it to somebody. That's right. That's exactly right. So, yeah. So we're looking um, you know, through through the great work that you do and a number of other people, we're trying to find that unique lane where there are gaps in programming in the St. Louis ecosystem. And so we feel like that scaling phase, there, there are certainly other people that offer programs, um, but that's that seems to be a little bit underrepresented. And so we want to lean into that and really be that resource that, that helps businesses that are facing those scaling issues. So what's your application process? When does it open and when does the cohort happen? Yeah, we'll be putting an announcement out, look kind of end of May, 1st of June, we'll start accepting registrations for the fall. So we're gonna run all five modules in the fall and all five in the spring. It'll, it'll follow a typical academic calendar. Each module is about seven hours. And we're, the reason we haven't posted it yet is we're debating whether we should meet all seven hours consecutively or split it over two days. I, my preference would be to split it up so that we can, you know, kind of get deep into some material, leave you with some homework, have you come back and let us, you know, kind of bake it with you. Um, but we also Smaller want to be accommodating. Smaller bites is much easier, particularly for very busy yeah. people. Yeah, that's right. That's right. We are getting feedback that some people just want to run it to completion just in the interest of their own personal schedule. Well, they um, can they can run each one, one after the other. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. So, yeah, so we'll do not either evenings or weekends. Um, and that that's what we're trying to nail down. So by the end of May, we'll have that all nailed down. Enrollment opens. There's literally no process to apply. You enroll and you attend the class. And we did run a, a test of module one in April, which is our strategy and culture uh, mm -hmm. module. And so we had 10 uh, local businesses that were that were enrolled and participated, got some good feedback, but we're tweaking a few things for the fault when we roll it out officially. Excellent, excellent. So as soon as those links are live, make sure I get them so that we can share with everybody, right? You got it. Absolutely. And, and the link to actually apply to be part of the cohort, that's around somewhere too, right? That Well, that's right. So that will, that will open up. So the typical application process will still exist. You, you do not have to take the classes in order to apply. Um, that process will typically open up in October. And then the finals, the pitch competition will be in early December, usually right after that Thanksgiving break. And we'll decide winners uh, at the end of December. This year, we have a special uh, added incentive. And that is that through the uh, Spectrum um, program, where they're working with local businesses, uh, they have agreed that one of our winners will get the, uh, the Spectrum Award, which is $15,000 in TV advertising. So they'll help you put together a commercial. Uh, and then they'll air it uh, on on the cable channels, and um, so that's an added incentive for for some of our founders. That is excellent, and that's just one of the many accelerators that are cap are available in St. Louis, much less yeah. all over the country. So people should take a, take the advantage and go and apply because. If you don't apply, you can't win anything. If you don't fill out a ton of these applications, you're not going to get used to it and figure out how to actually do something successful, right? And the application process just in and of itself is helpful to the businesses because they have to start basically presenting a business plan. So the, just by filling out the application, you're going to develop some discipline that's needed for these investor pitches or lender pitches um, as you get your business off the ground. So absolutely, I couldn't agree more that just take the time to apply. Right. Sounds good. Well, thank you so much, Scott Morris from AMSL. Um, with accelerators are very important and you've got a really good one. I'm Mary Scott with Business Riff. I want startups to be wildly successful. And one of the best things you can do to accomplish that is book a call with me at businessriff.com. And join us again next time for Stop, Time to Improv.